Toy Story 4. I have nothing quirky to say before. That rhymed! I don't have a pre-intro, but that can be it! Welcome back! What's up guys? It's Ange and today we're gonna be watching Toy Story 4. I did not know that this came out in 2019. That was like right before the pandemic. Why did I feel like Toy Story 4 has been out for like longer? I don't know. Maybe it's just my sense of time is all messed up. I'm so excited to watch this. This is the only Toy Story that I haven't seen before. So this is gonna be a pure reaction to this film. I'm very, very excited. I've heard actually mixed things about this. So, I'm very curious to see how I'm gonna like it. I'm pretty difficult to not please. I should've just said easy to please. I think I'm gonna enjoy this. I don't know, but I'm excited just to see all my characters again and see what they do differently on this one. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. Before we begin, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet already, so you can stay tuned to all my content. I post three times a week. Follow me on all my social media. All my handles will be in the description below. And follow me on Twitch. I live stream every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. If you guys wanna check out the full-length commentary to this movie, make sure you check out my Patreon page you can gain full access to that and future movie slash TV shows that I do on this channel. Alrighty, y'all, let's jump straight into the commentary. Oh god, that- I was not expecting that at all. Why you gotta do that to me, stupid Pixar lamp logo thing? Nine years ago. Is this Andy's room? Oh, whoa! Andy looks different in every single freaking Toy Story, I swear to god. Dude, animation is so clean. Oh, my, and the lighting and the shadowing? You kidding me with that? What? The animation's so good, like drastically better than the third one. I thought the third one was the best it was gonna get, but I was very wrong. How do we reach him? <gasps> Operation Pull Toy. Operation Pull what? Wait, nine years ago. So then, does this take place before the third one, right? This is crazy. This is like a prequel segment. <gasps> I just recognized this toy from the first movie. He literally tried to murder Buzz with that one. <laughs> okay, not murder, but like permanently have him stuck. This chain of monkeys. Wow, what a great callback. This animation is nasty compared to the others. And they're doing this on a rainy day. Like they didn't need to animate this rain, but they did. Well, I guess they did because, you know, he was getting sucked down in the drain, but you know. <gasps> I swear to God, Woody is always left out in the dust. Where did Woody go? Oh, he's saving Bo Peep. Oh, no, you can't go. I'm not Andy's toy. Whose toy are you then? You were always Andy's toy. Is that why she wasn't in the third movie? Kids lose their toys every day. But Andy! Sorry, Bo Peep. I got a human. Wait, is this one about, like, their relationship? Is this about, like, them meeting each other again or something? Wait, she was in the third one, right? No, wait, she wasn't. She couldn't have been in the third one because she just left. I'm so confused. I literally watched the third one like a week ago and I still can't remember if Bo Peep was in it or not. Oh, cute. Oh, what a good transition. Okay, so now we're going back to the present time Woody who hasn't seen Bo Peep in probably, uh, I don't know how long. Oh, Bonnie on his shoe. That's adorable. It's come such a long way because if you look at the first movie, that was like first of its kind to now this, it's great. It's great. And I'm sure people who have animated this, you know, felt like it was an honor to animate these toys because who knows in that generation toy story one might have been a huge inspiration to them the town is open mailman and the sheriff <gasps> but you love your cowboy oh no they were left behind the toys that were left behind are the uh i guess the more toddler toys like look at that tiny chair and then like the more squeaky toys you don't want to be late for kindergarten orientation do you Oh, she's in kindergarten. You all right, Woody? I'm sure she'll pick you next time. What do you mean, pick you next time? She literally took everyone except for him. A toy should go with her to orientation. Dang, I think Woody's having a little bit of a crisis. He loves to be needed. Poor Woody. Places, everyone. They would never be in the same place for Andy. They would jumble up and scramble around and just lay wherever they are. And Andy would not give in at all. Poor little Bonnie. Oh, he hid himself in her backpack. That's honestly so adorable. Even though you kind of broke the rules, still super cute. Dang, Woody, how come you wanted to go to school with her? Like, what are you gonna even do there? Like, you're gonna sit in one of the shelves and you're just gonna stare at Bonnie the entire time as they learn stuff. And then she's gonna open her backpack like twice because what is she actually carrying to school? <laughs> Find a seat at a table so we can start craft time. 
Craft time? Kindergarten was the life, bro. When you only did craft time, snack time, nap time. That's low-key my life right now. Except I have to care about like more stupid things like money, taxes. I guess that falls under money. Responsibilities. Don't even get me started on love life. Oh, look, she's gonna be like super creative, right? No more Google Eye! I love that scene. Oh, look at you creating your cute little spoon friend. I'm Forky. Nice to meet you. Forky? His name is Forky. Aw, Woody's like, that's why I'm here. No way. You're alive? <gasps> oh my gosh. No way. A craft can be alive too? I guess that's what toys are. Bonnie made a friend in class. Oh, she's already making she friends. She literally made some- she was a god. Oh god, are you okay? Oh, oh. Come on. <gasps> oh, oh my god, he's so fragile. He can literally die in two seconds. Why is Forky kind of nightmarish? Why am I scared of Forky? Forky is the Fresh. most important toy Fresh. to Bonnie right now. Yeah, she made him. He's a little derpy, but come on. Is his eyebrow made out of licorice? <laughs> Would he yeeted him? That's hilarious. Poor Forky's like, just end me. Wait, this is so adorable so far. Would he doing whatever he can to make sure Bonnie feels good? Even though he's not the source of that, really? It's great. Unless it's more underlying where he feels the need to like, I guess be the source of it, no matter what the means is. Oh God, you gotta inflate your head again. You need help with him on the road trip? No, 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 I got it, I got it. No, ask for Buzz's help. What, we need more Buzz. Wait, this is kind of incredible. The toys are like Forky's parents. Why is Forky me though? Except I'm not as scary as he is, but I do think I'm trash as well. Okay, cowboy, lassoing. That little voice inside me would never leave me alone if I gave up. Who do you think it is? Who? The voice inside of you. Who do you think it is? Dang, ever since his brain went Spanish mode, he just had a little- He's a little bit harder for him to compute things, I guess. Where's Forky? Freedom! <laughs> Ooh, a dolly zoom! Uh, How far do I next stop? 5.32 miles. I can make that. You can make that? Oh, I mean, I guess you can. You've literally gone on airports and daycare. You've been- Everywhere. All of this just for Forky? Bonnie will survive, I promise. Wait, I swear to God, if this time around, Buzz's like little uh, arc is him finding himself and listening to his inner voice. That's hilarious. I like the way that he waddles because he doesn't have limbs. <laughs> you are a toy. Maybe you don't like being one, but you are one. I like how in all of the movies, it's always this line of you are a toy and what that actually means. It's great. You are going to be there for Andy when he Who's Andy? Oh, are you dealing with some unfinished business? Is Woody lacking some closure right now between him and Andy? I feel like Woody loves being in control and love taking care of his kid. But now that he's with Bonnie, it's definitely a change of hierarchy and he doesn't feel as needed or important anymore, which I guess is definitely a, an identity thing that he is stuck with in all the movies. And now he's kind of getting that by just protecting Forky. He's getting that, that fill of feeling needed and, and all that jazz. You're just like me. Trash! He's like, I'm traumatized actually. Did you see that scene of me in the bin in the second movie? And then Andy's like, bye Woody. I'm also terrified of trash because that scene in the freaking third movie where I was in the landfill and they were about to burn me. I was about to contribute to climate change at that point. How are you running that fast in your little sticks? You don't got limbs. Forky, look. Bonnie's right over there. <gasps> Hurry! It's cute that now he's like, I will be with you, Bonnie, forever! I'm a toy! You know what's funny is that Bonnie's definitely gonna be sick of Forky at one point, in one time or another, and then she's gonna trash him, and then he's actually gonna be trashed, and he's gonna be like, I thought I was gonna be loved as a toy. Oh, does he miss his little lady? He misses the love of his life? Bonnie's right there. Yeah, yeah we'll have you back before she wakes up, come on. Oh, God. We're getting a little distracted here, are we- are we not? Oh my god, scary. That's literally so cryptic. Who is that? No way. Is that a puppet? Oh! Why are you actually so terrifying? 
What are you looking at? You seem creepy AF. I do not trust you, Gabby Gabby. Why is there always such a creepy freaking character in all of these movies? It's because toys are made to look all creepy like, and then they have to use that as the evil characters in these because they're perfect for it. You have a voice box like me. And, and I love you. Wow, you need to fix that. Oh my gosh, she's gonna steal yours. Let's see it. I bet it's the same type. Oh, no, no, no thanks. Mine's sewn inside. Oh my god, he's she's about to surgically rip you open and steal your voice box. No, 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 she's gonna steal your voice box, bro. I hate this. Ew. It's light out. We need to get back to Bonnie. This is what happens when you try to find Bo Peep. I'm stressed. <gasps> That's horrifying. <laughs> that shot of the freaking whatever his name was, Vincent? Ooh, no. I'm never gonna look at puppets the same way ever again. First, I'm gonna sing a little song. Can I take it to the park? Sure, nobody buys the toys anyway. That's why she's so obsessed with getting a voice box, because no one buys the toys and she wants to feel like she can be bought and all that jazz, right? Right? When in reality, it's because you look freaking creepy. You're a doll from the 50s. Scary. What would Woody do? <laughs> him listening to his inner voice, I'm dead. Know, He's I'm listening to his voice quits. <laughs> what is with everyone jumping out the window? Dude, that is honestly a familiar trope since the first movie. We always jump out windows. Buzz always going to help Woody with whatever he's doing too. Oh, this is just classic Toy Story. This would have been so fun to watch right when it came out in theaters because as, you know, a Toy Story fan, you would just, I guess, feel all the nostalgia and the familiar tropes that they do in Toy Story, you know? <laughs> Thank God there's a lot of bouncy things in a festival. We got zip tied to the freaking prize pool. No way. Woody's probably honestly having the time of his life, though. He hasn't been played with in so long. Escape! This looks like real life. This does not look animated. Look at that. That looks freaking real. How did they get the shadows exactly right? Playtime, baby. <gasps> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Probably the worst place to get lost. <gasps> Bo Peep, Bo Peep, Bo Peep. <gasps> Is that the same one though? She has a different outfit. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. They literally can't react. They're just staring at each other. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's awkward. You're, you're a you're lost, lost toy? toy? That's, That's awful. That's great. Huh? Oh, yeah, he's still stuck with Andy and she loves to be lost and like played with a bunch of other people How long have you been out on your own? Seven fantastic years. Yo, what? She's literally strong independent lady like she's been living a whole life Do you remember the rag doll I told you about? The cowboy? Yep. That's my ex Combat Carl's getting played with Wait, his voice sounds so familiar. Oh, I love that stop motion effect that they did with them. Reminds me of uh, the Lego movie. Like the kind of spazzy movements from them. Oh, he wanted a high five. Her other toy is trapped in this antique store. and I have Second to chance antiques? If I were you, I'd cut my losses and go home. What? No, I am a superhero. I always save toys. Bonnie needs him just like... Molly needed you. Oh, touchy subject. Okay, low key though, Andy played with you more than Woody did. I mean, Molly did. Oh, that's a different movie, I guess. Andy played with Bo Peep just as much, I feel like. Bo Peep was always in those stories, you know? I want to know these voice actors. They all sound so familiar, actually. But Bo Peep's voice actor is definitely different, right? <laughs> Uh, Vincent, new favorite character, even though he's hella terrifying. He's my spirit animal, to be honest. My harmony is perfect. You're a little obsessive, huh? Gabby, you're so strange and obsessive. And it's the eyes, ma'am, that really do it to me that make you really creepy looking. When my voice box is fixed, I'll finally get my chance. I don't think the voice box... Box is the issue, love. Hey, up here, Astro Boy. I'm trying to cheat get... the system and get with a kid. Bro, I got a kid. Leave me alone. Sorry, Ducky. I'm not a mind reader. Is that Peel? That has to be them. Key and Peel, right? They literally sound exactly like Key and Peel. Yup. Jordan Peel was Bunny. And then Keegan Michael Key. That's his name. Ah. I can hear their voices anywhere and I'll know them. Follow me. <gasps> oh! 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 O
hands all the time. Hands all the time. Remember when you lost an arm and you were all like, what was me? Her arm literally completely chopped off in like a matter of seconds. Your thread was still in you. Dang, she's badass. I like this version of Bo Peep. Has a lot more substance than the, the first two movies. She looks way different than the first movie, but then again, they all do, to be honest, so I don't mind it. Meteor shower, look out! Woody, good work, inner voice. <laughs> and listening to his voice clip, thinking that's his inner voice is everything to me. Bo Peep? Buzz, <laughs> to see you. Woody, it's Bo Peep! <laughs> <laughs> no way. You came all the way just to tackle me. Let's look outside one more time, but then we have to keep driving, okay? They're about to leave. Leave, leave! We could frame Dad for a crime so he goes to jail. All right, we don't need to stall that far along, Unicorn. Oh, she popped a tire. That's perfect. We're not going anywhere. If you get my point. <laughs> ah, good one. Not as good as my puns, though. I mean, come on. Ooh. Ooh, look at those cobwebs and the dust floating around in that shot. This looks like an actual store and that they animated toys into it. I know I've just not shut up about it this entire time, but God, is this animation so good. <gasps> Kitty! <gasps> Bonnie! You gotta get Forky now! Woody, don't! Woody! He's never really one to go for a plan. He just yeets himself at this point. Did you see him falling out windows? This is like the 10th time he's done it in the entire franchise. Oh my god, you're not even brushing it right! That's hilarious. <laughs> Yo, Bo Peep is ready to pummel him! She's ready to the throw down! We have to get that key. Leave that to us. We know exactly what to do. Mm -hmm. Where did you two come from? The key! Oh, the key! Oh, 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 the key! Oh, 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 well, we're not doing that. <laughs> No, another one. Stop. <laughs> Bro, you following her home? Were you gonna murder her? Have you ever played hide and seek? I'll teach you, okay? Okay. I hate how Forky is getting along with Gabby. She is the enemy. I'll do the talking. Oh my god, it's like a nightclub in there. Who the heck are you? Oh my god, you're tiny. This is really important, my kid. Yeah, not the right place to say it. The antique store is filled with people who've had kids or have never had a kid. So, lunatics. And you're experienced too, Woody, come on. Can you do the jump? Yes, I Canada! What are the puns in this movie? Yes, I Canada, that's honestly incredible. How do we get that key? contemplating murder for you to be right next to where she usually leaves the key the comedy in this movie is 10 times better than the first two in my opinion i just love the comedic aspect of this i just vibe way more i didn't want to sit on a shelf waiting for my life to happen you've handled this lost toy life better than i could I think you'd make a great lost toy. Uh, is he gonna go with her at the end do you think Look at that mood lighting, though. Kiss! 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 That's gonna be quite a jump for you and Duke. For me? It is your fork. Whoa! Look at that! It's a commercial! Oh, I can't do this! What? 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 Oh, no! God! You're doing it! You're doing it! You're literally doing it! Oh! She's ziplining through! Hello, Woody. <gasps> Hi, Bo. I just want to talk. Yeah, with my voice box. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, not the right time to start the escape plan. Oh, God. Gabby. My inner voice. How dare you? Girls. Drop it. Why is that me with Evander every 15 minutes? Bonnie's backpack? Bonnie's backpack? Oh, poor Giggles just got swallowed by a cat. Oh, my gosh. She's about to see some things that no toy should ever see. Oh, no. Jeez. Oh, ow. Oh, poor Giggles. It's okay. Shh. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so funny? Not Duke caressing his motorcycle as Bo caresses her actual sheep. Nobody wants this. I do. Why? Because it's all I have left to do. <gasps> I literally called it. 
That's literally what I was saying. Yeah, you have this need to like control and to feel needed by a person. That's why you miss being head sheriff and having like a system. You used to be number one and now you're just like a whatever toy. But you need to feel needed. And so that's why you're going to all this extent to get Forky so that Bonnie is happy. So you feel like you've done something correct. But your real identity is in who you are. Do you not hear Bo Peep? Oh god, Gabby, you're actually so terrifying. You don't know me. But I do. You know my name, not my story. All that time you spent with Andy. You've been there through all their ups and downs. How do you know about Andy? Stupid Forky, revealing all my secrets. Okay, you know what? Maybe you do know my story. But that doesn't mean you know, no, no me. I'd give anything to be loved the way you have. Don't make me sad, movie. Leave me, Forky. Bonnie needs him. Oh my god, he's gonna give away his voice box. Dang, that convinced you? Bonnie will notice her backpack is missing. Unless she doesn't realize. You good, Bonnie? Yep. Honestly, it's me. I never actually remember that I leave stuff behind until it's too late. How do you turn this off? Open the pod bay door. I don't know. And beyond! Uh, your backpack's in the antique store. <laughs> There's no way the parents didn't think that was sus. Unless they just like tuned out what he was saying. It's stupid, but I'll allow it. Woody's always trying to do right by his kid. Oh, she's going back for Woody? Get in. Oh. We're going back. We, we just got here. You heard, Bo? We're going back. Giggles is like the bestest, like, what's that called? Friend, I guess. <laughs> what are friends? <laughs> I wouldn't know. You are my best friend. Thank you. Oof. All my dreams are coming true because of you. I don't know how much a voice box is going to change anything, but go for it, I guess, girl. <gasps> Feel free to look Quick, around. before she finds it. Forky, please. Oh. Is it going to actually work or is she going to reject her? What if she puts her back? I'm going to be so sad. You can take it home if you want. Nah. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, my heart. Tell Buzz to get the RV to the merry-go-round. What is a merry-go-round? The spinny ride with lights and, and horses. Oh, you mean a carousel? Yes. Yeah. Do you guys call it carousel or merry-go-round? I say merry-go-round. It's probably a regional thing, right? It's a merry-go-round. Please go away. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> there are plenty of kids out there. And one of them is named Bonnie. She's waiting for you right now. What if you're wrong? If you sit on a shelf the rest of your life, you'll never find out. That's true. Don't be like the prospector. Gabby, you've warmed up on me, all right? You're still a B-word. At least there was growth. <laughs> Honestly, my reaction exactly. Benson, it's not, you know, you're a lovely guy. It's just that your face is really creepy. I'm through Kaboom. I can do this. Yeah, no more self-doubt. I can do it with my eyes closed. Yes, you what? Three, two, one, go. But you need your eyes open to see where the target is. Oh god. Thank goodness you're wearing your helmet. Yay! Oh god. Dude, that's honestly traumatizing. If my car started acting up like that, I would think it was about to explode and just jump out. I think she's lost. Oh, so you're not gonna go with Bonnie? What if she goes, nah? Oh my god, it's a lost kid. I'm so nervous. You got this, Gabby. Oh, I hope she likes you. I'm Gabby Gabby. Will you be my friend? I'll help you. Oh, that's so cute. I'm glad Gabby found a kid and a kid found Gabby. Oh, that's such a sweet moment. And think she's got Gabby now. That's adorable. What if the parents were like, that's probably some other kid's toy. Let's give it into the lost and found. That'd be a tragic fate for Gabby Gabby. <laughs> toy Story 5. Time to rescue Gabby again. So long, cowboy. Bye. Bye, Billy. Lefty, Bo, I don't remember your names. I'm glad I got to see you again. Oh, they're saying goodbye again. At least she finally got an end to her story. He's gonna stay with Bo. She'll be okay. She's not gonna stay with Bo. Bonnie will be okay. <gasps> I knew it. She doesn't need you, bro. And you don't need to feel needed by her. I actually knew it. This is a great arc. Actually, I didn't really know it, but I had a hunch. Oh, that's so cute.
cute. Time to say goodbye. <gasps> He's giving his badge to Jess. Oh, and they're probably so happy for him. I'm actually getting a little emotional from it. This is what needed to happen. For sure. For sure. For sure. Bye, Forky. Hopefully you don't get thrown out. Who's watching the doors? <laughs> of course. Just in time. Time to start your life together, I guess. <laughs> this is too cute. Does this mean Woody's a lost toy? Not anymore. Oh, that's so true. Yeah, not anymore. To infinity and beyond. Oh, what a good last line, too. Definitely not what I was expecting at all. I've heard some people say that they really like this movie. I've heard a lot of people say as well that they don't like this movie. And I'm assuming that people don't like it because, you know, it's supposed to be a toy story. And there's supposed to be a toy meant to be loved by a kid. And it's supposed to give those kid memories. But for a veteran like our very own Woody, I think this was a very great end to his arc. His era of being a toy is kind of over and you know all these toys end up in antique stores or on a shelf or a museum in japan like whatever it is there is a shelf life with these toys you can just see it in that sandbox scene when woody just is outcasted he's not a favorable toy anymore he's not as flashy and as fun as the toys nowadays which is so interesting because i think that was a subtle nod towards woody doesn't belong to a kid anymore and rather than you know living his life stuck on a shelf i think this is a great way to not only show kids but also like families who grew up with this film to show that this is the end of like Woody's era and he can't be a toy forever because that's not the reality of it but they didn't want to give him like a tragic end like all the other toys in the previous films who like did it like basically were done with kids I would probably say this is my second favorite third third one being the most favorite because we got to see Andy's end seeing how Woody kind of grew from the first one to now, it, this was a perfect way to end, I think, the Toy Story franchise. When Toy Story 4 was coming out, I was like, the, why would they make another one? They kind of had a perfect end to the last one. But no, this actually makes a lot of sense because Woody is our character. Woody's the one that we have followed since the first one, not Andy. Apart from the plotline stuff, I think visually stunning. That movie was gorgeous. This movie was probably so beautiful to watch in a theater and I kind of regret not having seen it in the theater. What did you guys think about this film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know what your thoughts are. I want to read them down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed that commentary, make sure you leave it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet already so you can stay tuned to all my content and don't forget to check out my last video. If you guys want to watch the full length unedited commentary to this movie, make sure you check out my patreon page we can gain full access to that and future movie slash tv shows that i do on this channel all right y'all have the best day ever and i'll see you guys in the next one bye okay bye okay bye okay bye